and I know this is so extra, but I love that. It's Adrienne of Adrienne's House and welcome to my channel. Now this actually is a part two to my original video which is the eBay luxury handbag purchase and if you haven't seen that one already I will allow you go ahead and uh, pause the video and down in the info box I do have the original video which is the part one but it is regarding the Louis Vuitton Arts Deco clutch in the epi leather. Now I did purchase this from eBay from a Japanese retail, yeah, Japanese resale seller, excuse me. And I think I got pretty lucky with this bag. I ended up paying about $140 and I knew that I had big plans for this bag. So this part two is going to be the original thought process that I have. Now I'm gonna cut to the chase. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on. So I mentioned in the very first video, this was a bag that I wasn't even particularly looking for at all, but I do know that I wanted some sort of pouch bag and that's how I came across this one. Um, I am not a fan at all of the two-toned uh, canvas. I am strictly an epi leather or just an overall leather gal. Um, so when I first started looking for handbags, the only options were epi leather as well as the vernis leather, which is the patent leather style. Um, what I saw a lot of was the uh, Louis Vuitton, I believe it's called the Pochette Accessoire, which is the small size pouch, but I am not a fan of that. Um, yeah, that little like zipper flat, the little zipper thing at the end just looks very unfinished to me. So anyway, when I came across this one, it reminded me of a newer style, the Louis Vuitton, I believe, Please don't butcher me if I mispronounce this, but it's the uh, Pochette Felici or the Pochette Felice. And uh, so basically this video, I'm gonna show you how I turned this bag into that. Now, lastly, I do wanna thank the purse community because nothing what I'm talking about today is original. I just kind of picked and choose from a ton of videos. So um, yeah, there was this one lady, she has about maybe eight Louis Vuitton epi leather bags and she did she did this exact same thing. Her bag happened to have originally came with a strap. She purchased it without a strap and she just added a strap. So I will go ahead and put her uh, information in the info bar. All right, so without further ado, here's part two. Enjoy. All right, so tools. Of course, you're gonna need some sort of D-ring or swivel connector. I wanted to get as close as the original as I thought, so I found these matte black ones. Obviously, some sort of hole punch tool. Now, this one is specific for leather, so a leather hole punch tool. Now, one thing with this leather hole punch tool is that you can choose the actual diameter of the hole itself, but it all depends on the type of D-ring or, I don't know, uh, attachment that you decide to use. So I matched the hole as close as possible to my uh, particular D-ring that I chose. Now I didn't measure right here. Um, I kind of just went right in the middle. There is a natural crease in the leather and just punched. Well, look, look how easy that was. With this particular clutch, now the sides of the bag go in quite a bit. So this hole along with this uh, D-ring attachment is not gonna be visible whatsoever. But if you decide to do this on your bag and you have, you know, maybe the hardware will be visible. Yes, I strongly recommend that you measure um, because you want your bag obviously to look good and make sure everything is symmetrical. All right, so this is where you now take the other end. Um, I believe this is called the shank or the fastener. Yes, I did have to look that up. <laughs> and you go ahead and just fit it to your D-ring attachment and you just screw it in. Now I'm gonna be using this mini screwdriver uh, that I have. It's actually a screwdriver set. I do have the link below and it has 32 different heads. So every option you can possibly need or possibly want does come in this set. So you just go ahead and screw it in um, tight. Obviously you don't want it falling off, but as tight as it can stand and making sure that it remains secure. 
And of course, once you have both sides done, you can go ahead and use your strap or chain of choice, loop it on, and there you go. Now you have a shoulder strap for your Arts Deco clutch. Now I know I said straps of choice, but that could mean leather, that could mean ribbon, that could mean canvas. But continuing on in this video, I'm basically gonna show you my entire strap collection and all of them are chains. The wonderful chains. Now this is where I went a little crazy. I was looking for one chain and found like like 12 so this is what I'm gonna share with you guys now I mentioned my original goal was to make my clutch look as close as possible to the Felice pochette and upon doing a deeper dive onto the Louis Vuitton website I saw that it had this long O style crossbody chain so I found a few of them online. Now, of course, if you want to do the likeness, which is what I did, but they most definitely sell not only replacement chains, but authentic chains. And I do have some links below. So now again, this was a crossbody chain. And for me, I like to add a few extra inches because I do have a larger bust. So a lot of the quote unquote crossbody styles hit a little uh, high on me. So I wanted it to be long. So I ended up getting the longest chain that they offered. Yeah, it was a little bit too long. Also, just for reference, I am five foot eight. So it kind of hits me a little bit below the hip, which is okay. But it was good to know this was chain one. This is the first one that I purchased. So it was a lot of trial and error. So this is when I went back and purchased the gold one. Now I did go four inches shorter on the gold one. So I think this gold one, at least for me, fits and falls perfectly. Now, another thing that I did wanna mention, um, again, I have all the links below, but this particular website that I went to, the metrics were kind of all over the place. Now I'm spoiled here in the United States, we generally use inches, but there are some options that have centimeters. There's some options that have millimeters. So do your due diligence. I did not, but do your due diligence to um, obviously go ahead and convert it uh, to your liking. So going back to the chain. So I mentioned these are the O style chain and these chains are pretty thin. So it is kind of a daintier chain in my opinion. And if you didn't want to wear it as a chain, these are light enough where you can obviously stuff them inside the bag and still wear it as a clutch. But then when you're done, obviously uh, a shoulder strap on the way out. So with buying both colors, you can mix and match with your jewelry. Now next, just to give it a different look, these are my two black straps. And coincidentally, both of these are by Coach. This first one is the Coach leather covered chain strap. And this is an accessory that I just recently purchased. Now with all of these straps, you could definitely dress it up or down, even everyday casual if you wanted to. This particular strap completely changed the look of this clutch. Now, even though this strap is in black leather, it does kind of have a muted brass or a muted gold hardware. But since there's no visible hardware on the clutch itself, it just pairs seamlessly. Now, I consider this an average length strap, but depending on your bust size, shoulder size, or even body size, this may work better for most of us as a shoulder strap or even a cool leather chain adornment. Also, as an FYI, this particular strap comes as a top handle as well. Next, this is the Coach Dinky Strap. Now, if you are already subscribed to my channel, you probably saw this in the Coach video, but again, kind of the same feel as the gold and silver one, but this is just a matte black option. So who knows if you're wearing a matte black look, this all black chain could work out. I don't know, this reminds me of something that I'd probably wear with an all leather look or under a jacket or something. <laughs> Now these two chains I am the most excited about because these are the Louis Vuitton Cousin or Cousin, whatever, style chains. Now, if you're familiar with this particular line, you are aware that these cost the pretty penny. <laughs> Now, while the bags themselves are beautiful, the chains, to me, is the showstopper. These chains are super chunky, super edgy, and I've always felt that they look more like jewelry to me than an actual purse or handbag strap. So when I initially found these chains online, I loved that they had a length option as well. So I thought, if I can purchase a smaller strap, this would be the coolest style wristlet, almost like a wristlet 
bracelet option. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. Now these came in three colors, but I chose the silver as well as the gold. And um, oh, another thing that I did want to note, these came with a very large O style clasp. So that's what made it easy to just basically loop them together and then loop them on the side of the purse. Um, again, to make this dope style bracelet. A word of caution, keep the contents of the bag super light because there is a lot of tension on one end if you use this particular style. Now, another idea that I had, now this is me going back to my jewelry designing days, but I did have an extra removable link. So I basically just strung the two together and that not only gave it a top handle look, but it also gave it this cool mixed metal of chain option. So yeah, that's just another idea that I thought of that would look great. This is extra but I also bought an extender for no reason. I just liked how it looked. I can use it for the future or just use it for one of my existing bags. All right, guys. So that concludes my Louis Vuitton Art Deco series, if you want to call it that. Um, hopefully you gained something from this. So yeah, this is basically turning into a vintage, into something cool and modern. Um, upcycle it, recycle it, uh, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. And again, make sure to take a look at the info bar because all, everything that I talked about, every single strap, everything, as far as, uh, as well as I should say, the length, the measurement, all that jazz will be down in the info box. And lastly, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe this video. That'll really help me out a lot. And uh, on that note, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.